All right, here's an SB301. Uh, then I put a new uh, crystal filter in for CW to lower the pitch a little bit. And I'm just going to take a general tour across the bands and uh, see how this thing works. I'm on, what am I on here? 75 meters uh, side band. Let me pop the hood and show you the innards here for a second. Hang on. Okay. Here it is. Um, most of the action took place over here on the IF board and required a new tube and um, I found a couple resistors affecting the S meter circuit zero set and so forth that were way 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 out of tolerance so while I was at it and checking some other ones I decided I'd replace all of them that were uh, a little bit out of tolerance and that turned out to be most all of them on that board and a couple over here on this one as well. It's got a bad 100 kilohertz um, crystal, so the calibrator doesn't work. And eventually, of course, this should probably be replaced. Um, there's the uh, sideband filter. There's the CW filter, 3395.7, that uh, provides a lower pitch CW note. And over here is your carrier oscillator. Uh, lower sideband, upper sideband, and radio teletype. So let me set this up. Hang on. Okay, anyway, we're back here. And let's see. I hope this will all be in focus and everything. I think you can see the meter swinging up there. and Looks like everything's okay. My uh, production skills aren't very good. But that's the way it goes. Anyway, um, so here we are on 75 meter sideband, lower sideband. It's very stable, very sensitive. Got some QR Nancy on the band tonight. But what I really want to do is go down and show you how it works on CW now. So, uh, in fact, let's go to 40. So we got a much lower pitch note here through the peak response of the CW filter now. Before this was up around a kilohertz. Now you have a pretty nice sweet spot there. K5HK. So I think that's a big improvement. The LMO is very stable. Even when you're slow tuning across the signal, you don't get any of that warble. Let's see if anybody's up on the side man real quick. Uh, I have a re reasonably modest 
I'm going to go back down to CW. I want to show you the AGC. It's a uh, fixed value, either fast or slow. Or you can turn it off and uh, ride the RF gain, like the old timers used to do. <laughs> All right, uh, let's get on the right side band. And we'll go into the CW filter. That's a slow AGC. And the RF gain is all the way over here. Not a lot of signals on here tonight. There's a DX pile up here. Oh, and one other thing, as long as we're looking at it. I uh, zero set the S meter quite a while ago. Let me pull the antenna off. And it comes back down just a little bit above zero. I think if you go to slow AGC, it might settle on an S1 or so. But it's been consistently doing that since I set it. So I think we're good to go there. And, and it doesn't matter what band you're on either. So I think the problems in the IF amplifier have been solved. Not much activity on 40 tonight. Straight key guys. Sounds like it's reverberating off my file cabinet. Okay, anyway, SB301. Probably longer than it should have been, but you get the idea. Pretty good working receiver. It's got good audio, very stable. The dial is very linear. It needs a new feet and new band switch knob and new 100 kilohertz crystal. And it'll be ready to rock and roll. So keep on tinkering. See you later.